We have here four pots of beautiful succulents that have grown really huge and they are giving us lots of offsets. In today's video, we are going to remove all the offsets and we will learn about the succulent Echeveria elegance. Hi everyone, this is Leslie of Succulent Social and today I have here with me four pots of huge Echeveria elegance and I have them with me for about maybe two years now and look at those offsets that they're showing actually they started shooting up these offsets back in winter and now it's spring so I actually tried to resist removing all these offsets back in the winter because as you know that was their um, dormancy period and now that it's um, spring we can harvest these offsets you can see I haven't really removed even those um, weeds but now it's spring so we can remove the babies and we're just waiting for their growth period so that we can maximize a little bit their their growth potential this one has turned really huge and heavy and it actually tilted a little bit to one side so later once we remove the babies we are also going to repot it and just to give it a little bit more um it can be more stable. Look at that, how big it is. Look, it's so good, it's so huge. <laughs> okay, so let's start. I have here my tools with me. Of course, my tray, which I always use. This is a seedling tray. Um, I always use it to just air dry them. Of course, I have my cinnamon powder, which is a fungicide, a growth hormone that we add to our cuttings. So let's remove first the big one. And this has grown downwards that it touched the soil actually and look roots have grown on those part that has touched the soil a lot of dried leaves of course would be there as expected so we just need to remove all those dried leaves and we are also going to remove a little bit of the lower leaves and see it has also flowered already this is pink flower that's the flower of elegance i just need to cut him to a length that I want for it to anchor to the soil and that will remove some of the lower leaves because if you plant them they will just touch the soil and might turn rot so we have to remove all of this now and you will propagate them and okay here I just want to show you so the first um, leaf that I actually removed is a good clean cut meaning I remove until the part that it touches the stem the second one is a bad cut because I rip it off and I did not remove it completely. And when it's a bad cut, um, it means that it will not give you a chance to um, propagate the leaf. So this one, for example, I ripped in the middle, but still it's a good cut. So I will set it aside and hopefully it can still give us babies. All right, so we'll just continue removing some of these of the lower leaves and then later on i will con do this in in batch the whole batch i will do it together but i will dip the cut um, part in cinnamon powder so anything that has open wound meaning the cut itself or the parts where you remove the leaves they're considered open wound and you have to let them air dry and we also add some cinnamon powder as a natural fungicide all right, so we'll just continue on with other ones. And as you can see at the bottom part, there will be a lot of really um, dried leaves. It happens a lot um, during um, winter. It's sort of because it's their um, sleeping season. So they don't grow too much and they use up whatever energy they have. Uh, but most of the leaves would dry out. Actually, this elegance is... Um, oh look at that that's a lot of um, rotten leaves at the bottom so we're just gonna clean that and as we do so it gives them a little bit of air circulation as well and look <laughs> so this um, elegance is actually one of my first favorite succulent when I was starting to collect succulent um, I like the color the shade of the green it is a great rosette it really forms a good rosette and yeah and it actually gives a lot of babies too 
so look at this yeah, so we will remove this it maybe i have taken offsets from these spots i don't know maybe four times now with this much so they have really given us a lot of offsets and and that's oh, but then again look it kind of gets deformed when we remove all the offsets i think moms can relate <laughs> anyway so as we clean this it is also important to remove all the dried leaves later to clean them um, to remove um, those areas where pests can linger and the good thing about Echeveria elegans is also very hardy and it's low maintenance so our elegans are just outside the garden all season rain or shine hail and sometimes during this summer we just put shade cloth um, however it doesn't really get burned instead they give some pink shade on the edge which just makes it even prettier so just want to show you this one which has grown big however it is very um, tight it has a tight space for growth so when that happens they actually gets deformed they really don't give a good reset shape but we can still um, save them so what i do i just remove all the lower leaves until such time that i could see a bit of rosette um, that is forming and when we remove the leaves um, don't think that it's such a waste to remove a lot of leaves because you could actually use them for propagation and if imagine if all of those leaves give you new pops that would be so great all right so um watering um elegance is also easy it's very forgiving actually this ones we just let the rain do the watering for them summer sometimes you water them but not too much um it's just okay now i want to highlight this pot as well because i want to tackle it differently the soil has actually sunken so the offsets are way deep inside the pot i mean i can still cut them but i just want to do something different for this spot because later on i want to raise the soil just so i can give it a little bit more air circulation so we massage the pot a little bit and then we can just remove the whole pot the whole plant all together and this gives us a good chance to clean it remove all the dried leaves and easier to actually get the offsets and um, because the offsets have been growing here so they might have rotted they have a lot of dried leaves so it's good to clean them up but um, what i'm gonna do i will remove first all the offsets and then i will use um, the same pot that I've gotten it from and I will just put some of our soil mix inside and by doing so we're actually going to raise it up and it will give it a little bit more of air circulation so here I already have some soil mix under and boom there we go that's it and I will just add a little bit more of soil mix on the sides just to make it more stable to anchor um, it with soil because now it's a little bit tilting from one side to another but that should be okay and then um, I have also repotted the one in the white pot uh, in the pink pot um, that has actually tilted so badly earlier so now they're all potted and I have also removed all the offsets and look i don't know why i put this chain here it's too heavy for hanging so i will just remove all of these as well we don't need them but we just have to um, ensure that there's enough space for the future offsets to grow because we don't want the situation like earlier we're in they're actually too tight and the offsets become um, deformed when they grow so that's our goal to give them some space and also air circulation so there you go we have here our four pots that have now um, been harvested with their offsets i'm leaving some of the smaller ones because i want them to grow 
within the mother plant itself and then um, when they're a little bit bigger then we can just um, harvest them again so here are our beautiful pots i hope that you have um, you will really appreciate the beauty of this elegance it is a must-have in your garden it is beautiful rosette great color very low maintenance and give you lots of offsets i mean what else could you ask for so now speaking of offsets here are the ones that we have removed from the mother plants and what we're going to do is to just dip those ends in cinnamon powder and we will um after dipping them in cinnamon powder we give them about maybe three four days to actually air dry for them to callus um, and then once they have callus we will put them in um, a well draining soil mix that is dry and these are the leaves that we have removed imagine if all of this will give me babies i will have lots of plants so leaves that have been taken off they don't go to waste they will all be um, set aside for propagation so and here is are the ones that i have potted whenever we uh, these are uh, the cuttings have been potted don't water them for maybe two to three weeks and then slowly water them and just put them in a shaded area and that's all for this video i hope you learned um, a few tips about echeveria elegance please if you haven't done so subscribe to our channel we'd like to share more of our succulent videos with you until next video bye for now